Welcome back, everybody, to another podcast. This time, I am joined by our friend Robin Sweet Tooth Ho and our friend Jane Fife. How's everybody doing today? Very well, except for the heat. The heat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not too bad. It's uh, pretty humid here. I know that. Yeah. It's 30 in the attic where I am right now. Celsius. Oh, well, that's what. That's like 90 degrees, I think it is, somewhere in that area. For us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. I, I I deal with these conversions. You think I, by now I would know them, but I don't. I don't. So I, I still have to Google it, you know, and do the conversion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think somewhere in the 30s Celsius is like 90 degrees Fahrenheit for us. I know. I would yeah. guess so. Yeah, I know it's humid here. We've had a lot of rain, and now the sun's out, and it's just boiling off all that moisture. Yeah, uh, we had like 10 minutes rain this morning. Oh, nice. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've had rain for days here, it seems like. It's just not. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of done with it. But I'm not I'm ready for that summer. There morning, there's like a real bad thunderstorm came through, 75 mile hour winds and everything else. Oh, wow. oh that's 75 ain't no joke. That, yeah, yeah, that is. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so <laughs> that is a uh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, so Robin, uh, let's get into some questions here. Um, yes, <laughs> questions. How did, you, uh, how did you find Food Tribe? Let's start with that one. I found Drive Tribe on YouTube, and, and th then I downloaded the app to uh, just check it out. Ne I never really used that. Uh, and when I downloaded Drive Tribe, I also found Food Tribe on the App Store, and uh, that is how I found Food Tribe. Oh, okay. So I didn't know if you was a fan of like the Grand Tour, Top Gear, and all that. Uh, yeah, I kind of am. But I never knew about food trap or drive trap before I saw it on YouTube. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and if you don't mind, uh, tell a little bit about yourself. I mean, it sounds like you went from Germany to Canada back to Germany, or? Yes, I finished uh, high school in 2013. Okay. And then I worked for a while to make some money, and then I went for Can to Canada for a year to oh, okay. just travel for a bit and oh, work that's... at the same time to have money because everyone <laughs> needs money. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, it makes the world go around. So Yes. <laughs> uh, so how did you like Canada? Oh, it was uh, very nice. I would like to go back now, but, but impossible at the moment. Yeah. Because I've of... Heard... That, that thing that is going on in the background. Yes. I've heard they're under serious <laughs> lockdown still, so... Yes. Yeah. I, I think they are a little bit harsher at the moment than most other mm -hmm. countries. Yeah, I know... Uh, I watch a few YouTubers that are, are from Canada, and they're complaining about the, the restrictions and stuff that are still in place. And... Yes. <laughs> They're getting tired of it. <laughs> so, and there's still they, quite a few countries that have traveling restrictions, though. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Well, uh, Germany right now is starting to lo lower some of those restrictions, but but there are still a lot of them. Mm. Well, hopefully, you guys get back to normal sometime soon. So, maybe who knows? <laughs> right, right, right. Um, I do want to say I have greatly enjoyed, uh, you've kind of revamped yourself a little bit uh, on how yes. you, when you're writing and stuff on Food Tribe. And I got to say, I'm greatly enjoying it. I love the, the quintessential German series. Uh, yeah, that I, was I a lot of fun. To <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm fun. enjoying it. <laughs> I think a lot of people are. They're uh, people like this food history kind of thing. So yes, and that that works out really well. 
I know the little chocolate one I found uh, rather intriguing with the caffeine and, and stuff like that. I had, you know, I've never heard of it. Yeah, it is actually kind of tasty. I didn't think so when I bought the cans, but mm -hmm. it's kind of. Cool. Because I do not like coffee at all. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> One of those, huh? Yes. <laughs> so do you fall into the tea camp? You, do you drink tea then? I drink a lot of tea, but, but it's not, not it's, it's just that I don't li really like the taste of coffee. I would probably be, be okay with it, but, but I haven't found one that I like. Ah, fair enough. I know uh, it seems to be, uh, you know, of course, we have found on um, Food Drive that there is two camps. Either you're a coffee person or you're a tea person. It just... Yeah, I, I guess that is uh, the same with, with dog and cat people, and I'm both. Oh, yes. <laughs> I I love well, all animals. I, I like cats. Uh, I I love dogs. Heck, I even, yeah. had, I even had pet snakes at one time, so I, I like all critters. <laughs> Never had one, but, but snakes are kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the about one everything I, as well. There you go. So, it, yeah, we're animal people that, you know, it seems that yes. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people on Food Tribe that are, you know, real animal people. It, it was kind of sad when they done away with Pet Tribe, but at the same time, I kind of get it. <laughs> Never knew of Pet Tribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little sub-tribe um, of Food Tribe for a while. Uh, they added it because, you know, they thought it'd be fun. Do. Yeah, I, I guess that would be uh, would go a little bit crazy, like, like the internet was for a while was cat videos. Yeah, well, and that's what a lot of things became. And and there was days I know when I would get on, it was just cat dogs and you know everybody's pets. Yeah, like, okay, this is getting. I can't weird. imagine that. <laughs> yeah, and then it just kind of quit. People just kind of stopped posting it. I don't know if people just got tired of it or or what happened. So that's why it kind of. I, I would imagine so when when you go to food trap, you want to see food and not just tens <laughs> of thousands of dogs and cats all everywhere. Yeah. So that that is it. So I have also enjoyed uh, get back to um, your uh, little sweet treat series, your vintage uh, sweet treats or whatever it is. And some of the more nostalgic or whatever candies and stuff you find. Of course, a lot of we don't have a Getting a little bit harder to, to actually find the stuff because once I've done one, I've already done it. Mm-hmm. So, well, I, I bet, and especially when you're trying to find vintage stuff, it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, there's imagine. way too much candy in the candy shelves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, uh, you know, with some of the ones you have found, I mean, like I said, even though, I, you know, I can't get them over here, I still enjoy, you know, watching them or reading them, I should say. Thank you. Now, on the watching front, um, your YouTube channel, uh, I've enjoyed that as well. I, I, I like what you're doing. Yeah, yes, I, I th thought I would get get it started, started when I have my hopefully new job in August, but then I figured why not just start right now. Hey, no time like the present. Uh, yes. <laughs> and the funny thing is all three of us have YouTube channels. And, uh, for, of course, y'all feel free to check everybody's out. Robin's got a great channel. Jane's got a great channel. Mine's a bit iffy at best. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but anyway, any bit in, you know, it, I don't cook and film. I, I haven't done that one yet. I've done a few things. Yeah, you know, so the, the camera can get a little bit in, in the way. <laughs> well, and that I understand. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to have the camera where you're not going to smack it over and anything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh, I, my thing too is um, I record everything on my phone, as everybody knows. I, I don't have a, I guess, proper setup. I use my phone, tripod, stuff like that. And you, you're always looking at the, at the phone and your screen to make sure you're on, on, um, you know, center of the camera or whatever. And, 
since yeah. your camera part of it, the phone is at one end, nothing ever lines up right. So you're doing this all the time going, oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's very good at that when I, when I try to, to have my face in something. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's harder than people think. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done any cooking and filming, um, but I have great respect for those like you guys who do, because just like the the little things, like the watermelon thing I done with the mustard, I, I you're always focusing on the camera and trying to watch what you're doing and watch the camera and you know make sure you're in shot and everything's right. And it <laughs> yeah, is, oh my gosh, it's a ha hassle to what. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you said that was your cricket. So yes, I, I I have tried crickets a while ago, and they they were not for me. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, but, uh, but it's kind of like my non cricket cricket. <laughs> <laughs> so you've actually ate crickets then, huh? Yes. Well, really. Kind of crunchy uh, and <laughs> not no. like chicken at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> so was was it just out of your own curiosity? Your you know? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so oh, was it flavored or anything? Uh, it was was uh, was a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper. Oh, okay. Okay. But, uh, but nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. No. Does not have to be. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't. I can't. I know John's pushing uh, me. As, as long as there, there is beef to be had, it's definitely better to go with beef. <laughs> yes, definitely. Or even uh, pork or chicken or something like that. <laughs> There's always something better. I, I yes. you know, I, I can't do crickets. I can't do, I can't do snails. Even though I did tell John Coleman that if you know I ever made it to Australia, I would trust him. To well, do well, crickets. they they sold snails for for a while in stores because the French like snails and frog legs and such things. But mm -hmm. uh, mm, nah. <laughs> Uh, now, have you had snails? <laughs> no. No, yeah, I can't. Not, uh, not, uh, not a fan of snails. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and slugs are worse. Yes. <laughs> I don't like slugs, especially if you step on them barefoot. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Uh, it's interesting, I, you know, when I do find people who have done the cricket thing, because I don't, I just can't do it. We was, uh, me and my yeah, wife. I don't think you have missed anything. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm going to tell John. I'm going to tell him, Robin told me that, yeah, it's, it's nothing special. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess uh, John would probably still call Pence on that. <laughs> yeah. I he is pushing something terrible for me to do this. He just don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> I just ain't doing it. I'm gonna have to come up with a you know forcing him to do the chickpeas and lentils and blue cheese and all his. I have stuff. an idea. Hmm. Just take something that, that that you can carve to look like a cricket, <laughs> and then he. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Um. Yeah, if I could, I'm not a very good carver though, so I don't think that would turn out very well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Plus, I'm not sure exactly what I could use that would look that way. I don't. So yeah. Yeah. True. Take a little piece of beef jerky and shred it up or something. <laughs> hey, there you go. Get a little exacto knife and be in there trying to. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea, but that sounds like a lot of work. I, I yes, know. it does. <laughs> it really does. I do also want to thank you for uh, you know you you've watched these podcasts and videos and and help support and like and comment on them and I really yes, I like them a lot. I I'm glad that means a lot. Uh, I, it's, I, it's actually the, the first podcast that, that that I really listen to at all. 
Oh wow! Oh, that makes it, it because, feel because, more because uh, it's it's more like like a video and mo and most other podcasts are just audio. Yeah, I have I have found that I so technically I'm not even sure if this counts as a podcast because from the sounds of it, a podcast is more like a radio show, and you know I don't know I ran with it. Uh, I counted. <laughs> Yeah, well, good. I that's all that matters. I'm just glad people, you know, you are liking it, and other people are. Um, it I just seems it that way. way. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm shocked. I, that people watch it. Yeah, I well, and people were wanting to participate is the great thing. Um, I really <laughs> didn't know where this was going when I started it. I thought there's probably no one ever does. <laughs> Well, that that's true. You just got to jump in and see what happens. I really figured it was just going to be me, <laughs> just, <laughs> just gonna be me sitting around talking to the camera all the time. Uh, but you know, a lot of great people jumped on, like you, willing to do it and and talk, and that's that's really good. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, as you know, some of the food drivers do you know have asked questions and uh, wanted uh, well have commented some questions they wanted to hear people you know answer and stuff like that so i've been trying to work through some of these with different people um it actually starts today the podcast i'll be putting up today actually starts it um so you know kind of kind of going with it see how people like it so give me your thoughts and opinions when we get through them see what you think uh i asked how you found food tribe and you said you found it when you found drive tribe basically so, uh, yes, and and now now I'm thinking to maybe do a little bit a little bit more on draft tribe as well. Yeah, that would be fun. Um, it gets busy, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when you're trying to do a YouTube channel and keep up with food tribe, and yeah, yeah I, I'm trying to do my cooking YouTube, my other YouTube, my, <laughs> my food tribe, and, and and my own blog. Oh wow, you got a blog too, huh? Yeah, so uh, the link is on my food tribe profile. Okay, what all what all do you do in your blog? I didn't even know you had one. Uh, it's more about photography and outdoor stuff. Oh, okay, fantastic. I'll have to go check that out. I honestly didn't even know. I I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no problem. So do you uh, have two? Uh, it, 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 it has like maybe. 10, 20 viewers a day at max. Oh, okay. Um, you, is, so that, you, that is more for fun. Oh, do you have two YouTube channels then? Or just yes, one? Yes, in, in theory, I have three. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I started one when I, when I was in Canada, but, but there are maybe two or three videos on it, and, and I just didn't want to de delete it, and and, the, and then I had my other one where, where I put my nature stuff, and and then I co converted a, an old channel that I never used to for for the food stuff. Oh, okay, fair enough. I can't keep up with one, much less three. There ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I mean, uh, one of them is pretty much uh, unused, and, and the other one is. I, I just I, I just upload uh, maybe once a month or so. Right. I didn't realize. I thought when I I started this one, I, and I thought, well, you know, I'll try to do my best to get a video a week up. And I thought, yeah, well, that I, I'm just doing that, that when when I think to film something when when I'm outdoors. <laughs> yeah. But I usually don't. Yeah, the it gets uh it gets a bit busy at times. Yes, and that's just doing it once a week. It's like, oh no. <laughs> well, well I, I'm not not really good at editing. I I, I just take the clips yeah. I, I have and put them behind each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I trust me. I'm learning this editing business. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that takes a lot of time. It does. It does. It, it's not 
you know, I mean, I guess if you you're good at it or you know it. I I always talk about him in every podcast. This seems like my my friend Ramon. He is he is a whiz at it. He can absolutely yeah. chop a video, chop a video up, edit it, do everything in like a minute or so. He's just like, give me a second. It, it's done. You're like, what? Yeah, you know. I, I guess he has a little bit more experience and and. I guess also he uh, that, that he has got uh, the right software and and stuff like that. I ju I just use the yeah. the stuff that that came with my laptop. <laughs> it's exactly what I do too. <laughs> I do most of mine on my phone. Oh, <laughs> I found the only thing problem with doing it on my phone is it's so small and yeah. sometimes sometimes it gets a bit tedious, but. It don't do bad, really. Um, I have done a few videos, edited them on my phone, and they turned out really well. So, but I'm like you, Robin. I just use what came on my laptop. <laughs> yeah, and I'm still I, not I sure. did not want to sp spend money on that because th those things can get really expensive. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can, and eventually, I'll probably will spend the money and upgrade to something you know good uh, but right now with no bigger than what everything is i'll just keep trying to trying to do it my way <laughs> yeah <laughs> i try to i try to do it on the cheap <laughs> so. I, I i i guess in the end no no one really cares about that uh, it, it is just the, the yeah. end product is that people say uh, see they they don't really appreciate the, the work behind it usually well, um, yeah, oh, that, they, they don't know how much work it is. Well, that is that is so true. Um, me and me and Jane have had that conversation many times discussing, you know, what we go through. And then I had that. In fact, I had that conversation yesterday. I filmed a podcast with uh, our friend Natalie. And, you know, there again, me and her was talking about, you know, she has her YouTube channel. She has a uh, blog as well. And then she has her food tribe site and, you know, then she's doing Instagram on, on things as well. And I'm like, and we got to talk oh, about, Oh yeah, this. I forgot Instagram. I also have Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't be bothered. <laughs> you know, I got enough going on. Um, I can't, I can't y'all. If you want to find me, come to food tribe. That's yeah. Fine. It's just the best thing I can tell people. I can't do more social media. Uh, uh, food I can't. Is, is definitely the, the one where where I get the most interactions and, and have the best community. Yes, that's, uh, that's why I'm sticking around. Uh, that is, you know, a universal thing um, with the people I've talked to so far. Is that's why they stay is because. It's just such a friendly place. It don't have the drama. Yes, yeah, so it is not as oversaturated as as places like Instagram. Yeah, where, well, where pretty much everyone and and their mother has something to say, <laughs> and not all of it's positive. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, that's where it's like a lot of the people I've talked to. They they compare food tribe to it's almost like a little family. Yes, Every, definitely. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody's friendly with everybody. It's very helpful and supportive. Yes, uh, 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 and that kind of surprised me at the, in the beginning. Well, because because I never thought that that anything w w would get would get out of it, but uh, uh, but it did. <laughs> Well, that's, you know, everybody knows my story. I never planned on doing Food Tribe. I was going to go to Drive Tribe and stay over there. And, you know, Drive Tribe's a great place, too. Uh, it, it's a whole nother beast, but it is a very nice place. Yeah. Um, but Food Tribe is. It's like a little friendly community, family kind of thing. And I just couldn't leave. Um I've sold before. I was going to delete the app and be done with it, and I couldn't do it. And now, over a year later, I'm still here. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it's, good uh, because we like you. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, on that, you know, thank you for the the little tribute burger, the name the dish 
Burger. That was so cool. Um, <laughs> yes, it it, it is uh, has two names actually. <laughs> Be, because Fulana likes to steal stuff. Yes, she does. <laughs> And, and 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 then there was the, the hamburger, and because you don't like McDonald's, uh, I <laughs> <laughs> and John Coleman apparently does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 he is also kinder in the name, yes. because McDonald's and the hamburger. Well, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's so, fine. so that that was a lot, a lot of fun to do that. <laughs> uh, and and uh, uh, and I actually kind of struggled to find a name at first. Well, it seems like you did really well with it. I I, I appreciate yeah. it greatly, and I uh, I did get a bit of a laugh out of it because <laughs> you know I when you put it all together, you know, for a lot of people out there, they might not understand you know some of the inside kind of humor that is actually there. Uh, uh, they I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it. That's all you know. I'm sure Fulana got it, and every you know the people that yeah. got it. So that's. Uh, cool. I think so. Uh, yeah, and it is something to get used to. You know, when when that happens, it's like oh, you know, and there again, <laughs> it, it's yeah. a sweet feeling. And I think that is one of the things that also sets Food Drive aside is is that kind of friendship, love, you know, kind of thing where you know, I don't know. It's just it's cool. So, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Okay, well, um, one of the questions asked, I can't even remember who asked it now, but uh, do you have a guilty pleasure food that you enjoy? Yes. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> not McDonald's. Not another one. <laughs> yeah, but... but, but, but. But but uh, just a plain cheeseburger with, uh, without onions. Oh, I'm losing the war. I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, usually I, I really do not like them, but but sometimes I, I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> well, in fairness, I, I got to say, it looks like some of the McDonald's uh, from these different countries does look a lot different. Um, I know. Yeah, well, I, I was was in uh, New York State once in Niagara Falls, and, and I, I was at at a, at a McDonald's because I didn't find anything else, and I didn't know the place, and, and it was not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really thought. really bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, when, I, when when it comes to fast food burgers, uh, Wendy's is definitely better. I I would kind of have to agree with you there. Um, when I done the Burger Wars, uh, I was shocked McDonald's ended up as high as they did in all reality. But yeah, I got to agree that uh, Wendy's is is the better choice if you have to go that route. So, yes. I really don't care for any of them. Hey, me neither. <laughs> it's all a bunch of grease and yeah, it's not good. Yeah. So. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I got to step up my game to to get people from McDonald's. I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I am trying not to, not to go there, <laughs> and, and and usually I I am succeeding, but sometimes not. <laughs> well, okay, we'll, we'll forgive you off and on. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I gotta forgive John Coleman occasionally and uh, Gabriel Santos. I, I, yeah, he he falls off the wagon occasionally and ends up at McDonald's. I have to ask him why. Just why? <laughs> yes, uh, I I just don't post about it because it's not expressive. <laughs> so. Okay, well. Um, Speaking of John Coleman, he uh, he needs to know what everybody's favorite cheese is. So, what's your favorite cheese? My favorite cheese. I, I usually like most cheese, but uh, right now it's a brie. A brie. Brie. Okay. Yeah, a, a French a French cheese that, that is hard on the on, uh, outside and very soft in the middle. <laughs> 
See, I don't. I think that's one I'm not sure if I've had or not. To be honest, I think I, I've only sampled it at a store, but I know I know it's available around here. Really? Yeah. Um, I, I I like you know trying new cheeses, but I don't know. I do have a, a and, and I also like goat's cheese. That seems to be a popular one. I've never. I don't mind it if there's enough stuff that I don't notice, but to eat it on its own, I don't. Yeah, I, I I don't eat it on its own. There you Usually. Go. Hey, James, since technically you haven't answered any of these questions yet, feel free to jump in and you know, like what's what's your what's your guilty pleasure food, Jane? Hmm. <laughs> I really don't know. Really don't know. <laughs> you, no. you don't know, or, or you don't want to tell? <laughs> like so many different things, I don't know what I'd consider as a guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get that. Uh, 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 when you when you eat it and, and afterwards you're, you're like, why did I just eat it? <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably be a certain type of chocolate. I think they're uh, lint. Yeah, yeah um, but they have yeah. uh, several <laughs> different kinds of kind of chocolates, and uh, they they're really chocolate. good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And uh, what's your what's your favorite cheese? Right now, I'd have to say smoked Gouda. Ooh, that Ooh, is. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's good. That's probably not my favorite, but uh, I have gotten used to some smoked Gouda here recently. And I gotta say that is awful good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so the word is more than just American cheese on burgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I will admit that American cheese isn't the greatest thing just to eat. It's not. But it does give you that nice, gooey, melty thing. Yes. And in that, it's hard to beat it um, in that regard. It's just, there you yeah. it, it does that job very well. Other than that, yeah, sit and eat it, it it's, it's not the most pleasant. Uh, yeah, I admit that. Mm. I admit that. So, uh, do you have just a favorite food, both of you? Anybody have just a favorite food they love to eat? I don't know. I'd kind of lean towards lasagna. I, I would probably be around that corner too right now. Okay. Yeah. That. That's a good one. I like lasagna. I don't know if it'd be in my favorites though, but I do. I do. Really uh, like that, is that is a mean question <laughs> <laughs> because because it's always hard, hard to the, to decide. Yes. Well, I was talking to Leela the other day. Uh, well, I say the other day it was last week, and on a podcast, and she was the first one to answer these questions, and. That become a real struggle because it was like a favorite food, and you take people like me and we're like so many different things. I, you know, I don't have a routine of food at all. Other, yeah, I mean, you know, a burger and pizza is probably the biggest routine I have. Is like, okay, I like burgers and I like pizza, but yeah, and pizza with wings. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes and, and yeah pizza has to have wings with it it's just it's just some weird rule that is unwritten uh, and so to pick a favorite would be really hard yeah, yeah. it's like we got on we got onto the topic if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life what would it be uh yeah <laughs> when i have to go with only one flavor i, I would i would probably go with, with, with so, some beige mess that has uh, everything I need because I, I don't want to <laughs> m m miss out on any of the flavors and, and that, that would be completely flavorless then. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Do you have anything, Jane? Any, any uh, one food you could live on? It'd probably have to be pizza because pizza I just can't do without. Oh, well, I would consider okay. it necessarily a favorite food. It's just one of those right. things I just can't live without. Okay, then I have a follow-up question on that. What, what, okay. what do you think about pineapple on pizza? <laughs> I've never had it. Uh, uh, I usually don't like it, but, the, but there's one with chicken and uh, curry sauce where, where I 
where the pineapple kind of fits in, but but that's also more like not really a pizza at all. <laughs> Yeah, I it, have it, had... it looks it looks like one, but but I wouldn't define it as one. <laughs> I have had it before. Um, they got a thing called the Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, uh, the bad the bad part of it is you know it had ham and pineapple, and honestly, I don't remember. It's been it's been years ago. It's probably been fifteen or more years ago. Uh, and it, I can't really define it because of the fact. It came from Domino's, and Domino's is a horrible pizza place, if you ask me. So, oh yeah, the pizza was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and now I have seen um, some of them that people have posted, and I thought, you know what, that don't look anything like the Domino's we have here. Uh, yeah, but actually, but photos can be deceiving. <laughs> that is true. That is true. And so it, it I, I didn't dislike it, but I. It, I don't like Domino's, so I would no. definitely try it. I would definitely try it on a, a better grade of pizza, I guess you could say. Um, but to me, <laughs> hey, do what you want to do. I don't really care if it's yeah, on, you know. The Domino's isn't really pizza. It's more like greasy bread with stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 basically it. Uh, as far as if I believe pineapple should be on pizza, hey, you know, put on it what you want. It, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Um, I, I think so too. And yeah, it, it's like burgers. It's just a blank canvas. Have fun with it. Um, yeah, you can make it anything you want from there. So that's my. That's just my honest. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Italians will not agree with me on that at all. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, the Italians are particular folk. They they don't like a lot of things. No. Yeah, because, because because it is not like mama makes it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, I have found that they are very 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 passionate about their food. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it that way. <laughs> I have learned that. That's one thing Food Tribe has taught me. Um, Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll just, uh, there again, for both of you guys, uh, what's the worst uh, cooking injury you guys have ever sustained? Mm, I don't know if, uh, which one's worse. When I was uh, probably around 11, I was making pancakes, and my thumb ended up on the metal ring <gasps> on the skin. Wow. So, the whole pad of my thumb blistered. Oh! <laughs> well, That's well, like, my... my... <laughs> My grandma, when she got her, her first electric stove, wa wanted to check if it, if it actually got hot. <laughs> <laughs> and she just took her flat hand and like... Oh! No. And of course it was getting hot. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> getting hot is the, is the only task of that thing. <laughs> Yes. Oh, so have you my, had uh, any? Uh, yeah, my any my age? personal w w worst thing w was w when I was working as a dishwasher in Canada and had to cut onions, mm -hmm. and, and, and I cut straight through the onion into my finger. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it, it, it wasn't a really a, a big wound or anything, but but onion juices are not nice. Oh no. no! Oh, that could be as bad really as it not nice. itself. Yeah, yeah. We had that discussion on, you know, which one, uh, the burns or the cuts. And I'm telling you, man, ain't none of them good. But I, I've sustained some major burns, and it's like I'd rather been cut than deal with that burn, boy. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, uh, so well, I'm glad nothing too serious for either one of you. Although, you know, and. Yeah, nothing too serious. Um, well, you kind of well, well, the, the, the most serious thing that happened to me on, on that job was that, that I was uh, ca carrying the delivery into the basement, uh, and a friend uh, and I was coming out, and a friend of mine was coming down, and, uh -huh. and a box split, and 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 I got got a big fat ham in the face. Oh, <laughs> frozen <laughs> ham! Oh no! With bone in it. Oh, yeah, that ain't good. That's by like getting punched in the nope. face. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, that that's that's not good. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fulana wants to know everybody's favorite pastry, of course. So favorite pastry. Uh, s- cinnamon I buns. Know, like a, I don't know I how love well cinnamon I can pronounce buns. it, but uh, Ramon's uh, apple flapping. Oh right. Huh. I don't know how to yeah. say that. I I, I, sure I know right. what it is, uh, 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 and I could probably say it, but uh, but I don't want to recall it because it would probably be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe the stuff I have screwed up saying, and people will correct me. Um, sorry, Vincelini. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, then, uh, yeah, poor Natalie tried to get me to say her last name, and I felt horrible trying to do that. That was that was bad. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. There's there's a lot of these, you know, uh, well, yeah, probably even with you, the stuff when you post it in German. And I'm like, I don't know what that is, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, a while ago on my normal blog, I... I, I... I decided that, that that I'm not not going to tr- to translate the names of places and such things, <laughs> be, 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 because because it's the name of the place and. and no, yeah. I, I I like it. Um, I I there's several people on Food Tribe who uh, they'll give the actual name, and you know that's fine. I like it. Just. Don't get upset if I butcher trying to say it. Uh, I don't <laughs> no. But I, I do love when people translate things back and forth. So I get like what it's supposed to be, but then I get the meaning of what it is. Plus, yeah. I, I, I am fascinated by other languages. I only know the one and I don't know it real well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with I, English. So. I only know English and German and that's it. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I had Latin in school, but Latin is dead and no one speaks it, so I don't <laughs> speak it they well. always They always told me in school that if you could learn Latin, all other languages are easier to learn. And I thought, well, I can't hardly handle English. What, why should I? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I? I can say that is a lie. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, Learning languages is, is hard. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't understand. I know, well, Valentina uh, T and, like, Amelia Mig and some of the others, and they know, like, three or four, I think in some cases, five languages. And it's like, how? You know? What? That blows my, For yes. what? <laughs> yes. And it blows my mind. I'm like, you know, that you can speak that many different languages. Like I said, I I struggle with one. You know, <laughs> here you are and, and <laughs> yeah. jump back and forth and, and speak both and it's like wow, I I can't <laughs> well, 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 when I when I was in Canada uh, 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 I was sitting in the kitchen where, where mm-hmm. I worked uh, and so suddenly someone spoke to me and I did not understand a word. <laughs> She, she, she was talking German to me, and I did not understand the word. Oh! <laughs> Pro, uh, probably because I did not anticipate that, but but that was really weird. Nice. <laughs> now, is there a different, like, um, I guess, dialects of German or... Uh, yes, there, there definitely are, but, but I, I guess one of the other problems was that she was actually Dutch and try to speak German. Oh! <laughs> that that could be tough because then you have the, yeah, that... Yeah, and I just was really confused. <laughs> yeah, that could add some confusion. An accent and speaking, you know, German, yeah, that could be. Yeah. I, get, I get that. I I find it fascinating. Anybody who can speak more than one language to me, it's, it's fascinating. I, yeah, I it, thought... it is to me too a little bit because because so, sometimes I I still think why can I do that I I mean <laughs> I I try to learn uh, to learn other languages but but, but the, the most I I get out of is is, is writing is, is, is when I have autocorrect on <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I find it fascinating because I would love to actually, I would like to learn a different language. Um, what one? I have no idea, no clue. But I also think, you know what? I need to master the one I actually speak first. But I, I would actually like to learn another at some point. I just don't know what yeah. it would be. What, no one more. time I, I, I took a English certification course just for fun, and, uh -huh. and, and I, I was actually doing quite well. I, I got this uh, second highest European level, but, uh, but I'm pretty sure that that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, no, I'm not that good at English. <laughs> I think you do a pretty and good. I'm I really that at my own language i'm i mean uh, in my high school uh, uh, finishing exams i i had two out of 15 points oh <laughs> and, and the, you you are normally not not allowed to go below 5 oh <laughs> okay <laughs> that puts it a little more perspective yeah that's oh. yeah i was really 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 bad at it yeah, I understand your pain. I do. I, <laughs> like I said, I, I uh, but uh, but those, those people also doubted that, that that I would survive any time in Canada, but I did. So yeah.